Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll learn how to create Azure Cache for Redis using Azure Portal. So here's the official documentation by Microsoft Azure Cache for Redis documentation. And this cache for Redis provides fully managed open source Redis within Azure. We can start with an Azure Cache for Redis instance of any tier basic, standard, or premium, and size and scale it to meet our application's performance needs. And the quick start is here. For this quick start, the prerequisite is to have a account, Azure subscription, okay? Then open source Redis, if we open this open source Redis, it is, it is open source in-memory data store used by millions of developers as a database, cache, a streaming engine, and message broker for quick retrieval of data we use redis because it's in memory let's go back here and we'll follow this documentation and create cache for redis in azure let's go to the azure portal and here we'll create a new resource click on new resource here we'll search for cache redis and here is the option Azure Cache for Redis. Okay, we'll click over this. We'll click on Create. And here comes the new Redis Cache page. First tab is Basic tab, where we have to select the project details, the subscription, valid Azure subscription, then the resource group in which you want to create this Redis Cache. Then comes the instance details, DNS name. That is the Redis name. We'll name it as it as CK cache for Redis. Okay. This name is available. Good. Location. Let's leave it as East US default. Cache type. Here we have the full pricing details for the different cache types. Okay. If we open here, there are different recommended types and all available types here. It has basic, premium, standard and enterprise. If we go back to the documentation, here in the documentation, there is a separate section for basic standard premium tiers and then for the enterprise tiers. And in this video, we are going to create basic tier. So we'll select basic C0, 250 MB, cache, no SLA. We'll select that since it's for demo purpose. Then the settings in the basics tab completed. We'll go to the networking tab. Here we'll select the connectivity method, public endpoint, private or virtual network injection. We'll leave it as public endpoint. It will enable public access from all networks. Okay. We'll select next advanced non TLS port. If you want to enable it, we can enable it, but we'll leave the settings here also as default. Redis version latest. It is showing as six. Okay. We'll go to the tag section. If you have any tags, you can add. Then we'll click on review and create. These are the settings which we have configured for this cache. We'll click on create. On the right side in the notification bar, we can see initializing deployment message. Let's wait for some time. Submitting deployment. Deployment is in progress. And we could see here that create Redis cache, CK cache for Redis is in progress. Let's wait for some time until this deployment completes. So the deployment completed, it will take around 10 to 15 minutes. We'll click on go to resource. So here we can see the overview page of Azure cache for Redis, which we have named as CK cache for Redis. Here are the details like any other service we have here on the overview page, the different details of the service. Host name is CK Cache for Redis dot Redis dot cache dot windows dot net ports. Here it is shown non SSL port keys, best practices and new features. So here we have the cache ready. We could click on the console to view the CLI page of 
this Redis console, which is in preview. So this is how we create basic tier cache for Redis in Azure. In the upcoming videos, we will see how we can use this Redis cache. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. Bye.